G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back out on the Bilberman track just for the day, but I've got the Matilda pack with me and the new pouch I'm going to be adding, which is the Helicon Tex Brushcraft Range EE pouch. Here it is, the Helicon Tex Bushcraft Range e e pouch. Very nice pouch. Quality of it, all the stitching's all good. I won't go through showing you all close-ups. That's on the inside and the outside. But the WJ buckles on it. Big enough, even wearing gloves, you'll be able to open that one. You've got your cinch, so you can loosen it or tighten it. So you're not going to lose anything out of that. We've got the webbing, three rows of it, with two columns on the side, and the same on this side, one, two, three rows with two columns, so you can attach smaller pouches to that too. And so we've got the two rows there with the three columns. Really could only use the two there, but yeah, if you could actually, yeah, you could probably use all three of those rows, just loosen that and have it coming over the uh, pouch. Or if you're having a pouch coming down either side, you can have this running down the back of it in the middle. So you can use all three uh, columns there. And then we've got the Pals Molly webbing and the attachment straps on the back. So we've got the one inch and another one, two, three, four rows, and then it's open again. The straps are really nice, they're doubled over with a stiffener in them and I do like these types of straps. They can come through here nice and easy and they're quite secure. You see that's just holding on with one and took a fair bit but if you actually run them through these, weave them through Double that in, lock it in place. That's going to take a lot to get that undone. You'll probably rip the pouch apart before you get that to come undone down here. So, if you are going to attach it to anything, that would be the best way to squeeze it through each of the actual webbing of your molly to make a nice, sturdy, and secure fit to your pack. We've got a pocket here. So what we can do with this is, I've got my saw, that'll sit there, but you can also fit an axe at the bottom. And it's got the hook and loop, and your Velcro, so your axe could hang through. And I like that added to there. We have some hook and loop in there. Now that goes, that far down the middle, the loop to hook and loop or your velcro. I suppose you could add another small um, pouch in there if you wanted to, but I'm not sure what that's for. And let's have a look. It says Cordor brand fabric designed in Poland, uh, crafted in Vietnam. So that explains the good quality. On the bottom, we've got two drain holes. And I'll show you an inside in a moment and I'll, I'll turn it inside out to give you a better view of it. But with this being a, I, like I said, yeah, I reckon it's about the 500D Cordora. So it's fairly stiff, that corner stitched in. That's not gonna come off there too easy, even if you didn't have it done up. At the top here, we've got a stiffener built into it. So again, if that's over there, that's not going to be falling down and coming out. That's a little bit thick, thick in there, but it's no, not a stiffener in it. And again, we've got a stiffener on this side. Now I'll turn it inside out so I can show you the inside.
First thing I'll show you at the bottom, they've got your drain holes, they've got some reinforcement there to stop the actual uh, the, the metal going through this so it actually protects your Cordura so it's going to make it last a lot longer. On the side here I've got a small flat pocket and at the front we've got another flat pocket goes the whole length same height as the side one and another side one on either side we've got the hook and loop so you could put another pouch an organizer pouch on there the ones with the velcro backing on and stick it so you can turn this into instead of having it all open you can compartmentalize it we've got a loop here so you can attach your compass or hook your keys on there or your gloves or anything you want so you're not going to lose them I'll put the size on the screen but I've got some gear I'll show you in a moment what I'll fit in here but first I'll attach it to the Helicon Tex Matilda pack and show you how I'm going to be using it on the pack this side I'm going to be having my sleep mat oh no the sleep mat's going to the, uh, this side so this is the side I'll be having the pack pouch and the main thing I'll be storing in the pouch will be my electronics for my camera uh, my power bank and spare batteries and everything See, we've got one, two rows with three columns, which matches the back of this perfect. So I'm going to put the webbing down first here. So when it does, it is fitted for the sake. It'll sit level as if it's part of the pack. It's not going to sit high or sit low if I do it that way. So this will go through here first. And then I'm going to run it through the top one. And then back through here through this one and then I'm going to tuck it in. I'll just tuck it down in there. that one and I'll do this one so if that gets caught now that's going nowhere and as you can see it sits same height and depth as this one it's going to be nice and easy to get to and with the Matilda you can still use the uh, compression strap there if you want to so as you're walking either your knife or your saw and sit in that. Very handy, very easy to use. Like I said, I normally use all my camera gear in that, but what I'm going to do is just give you an idea what will fit. So, even with the measurements, it's not going to explain much. But this is my cup kit, which is 750ml pots in there, a couple of gas cylinders, a spoon. Where's that caught? Oh, got it caught in the pocket inside. So that sits all the way down and close easy. And even with a canister on there, 
and the support. Just loosen that a little bit. Pick that in and give it a cinch down. And that's a cock kit in there. Aid kit and everything from that. I've got the super tarp, small in here from Helicon Tex, and guy ropes, pegs, multi tool, different bits and bobs in that. So let's see if that fits. So that's the Helicon Tex Super Tarp Small fits in there, nice and easy. And I think the uh, original 3x3 three three would fit in there also without the other stuff, or it would probably fit in there with because you can compress it down. That'll give you an idea what you can put in that. So that's the next addition to my pack. It's going to make it a lot easier, so I'm going to have more room inside. I'm not going to have it fully expanded, but if I need to, I can still expand it and I can divide the weight into the pack mainly or wherever I want it and just more organised organisation and easier to use and just makes the pack look better. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have, please go down below and click on the thumbs up, click on the uh, which is the like button click on the notification bell and select all subscribe and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>